Hey kids, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Central, joined on the mic tonight by Brian. Howdy there folks. We're going to check out Assault Suit Lanos for PlayStation 4 and Steam. This is a remake of a classic game in America. It was called Target Earth, and in Japan it's always been called Assault Suit Lanos. And it's just a pretty nice remake and a, a very old school experience. There's been a lot of improvements and tweaks to the gameplay and such, but if you want it to play more like the classic Genesis and Mega Drive game, you could pick Classic Mode, and then a lot of the nicer things would be turned off. Got a tutorial. We're going to hop in there and do the tutorial, see how that goes for us. Here we are. You're a guy in a mech suit. Also, if you play the Super Nintendo game called Cybernator, that was actually a rebranded game in this series from... I believe Konami published wow. it in the U.S. Welcome to the simulator. I never understood why they just decided to take a random game out of the series and publish it. <laughs> yeah, it was strange. I mean, I guess maybe it was being shopped around to, to publishers, you know, and then they're like, okay, sure, you know, that was it, maybe. Hmm, maybe. So this is sort of a Contra-style action platformer, but it has quite a few differences, so... For instance, you can hover a bit, being that you're in this <coughs> suit. Cool. Ah, crap. Didn't mean to change guns. There's... One of the goals on the tutorial is actually to complete it within a certain amount of time. Oh, why do I keep clicking the wrong thing? Oh, I know why I'm trying to hit L1 and I'm hitting L2. You can dash with a button or by double tapping the direction. I prefer to just use the face button. Mission clear. Alright, I finished it within the time limit. That's good. Nice. Under a minute. It seems you have the basics of control down to a T. Yeah, it would be really nice if this came to the Xbox One. However, it is a Japanese-developed game, and many Japanese-developed games will not come to the Xbox One. It's just not going to happen this generation. Yeah, I think they sell like 50 a month <laughs> in Japan of Xbox Ones, so chances are low. Fire your main weapon with the shoot button. Yeah, I got that already. With the punch button, you can use the close-range hard knuckles. Okay. You can choose up to six main weapons... Destroy the targets in front of you. Nice. Is this also on the Vita? Because it looks like it would do pretty well there. It's not, but that would be neat. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like the visuals and the style and everything would it would work pretty well on the Vita. Yeah, the controls aren't... I mean, it does actually... It uses all the buttons, but still, you could do that on the Vita using the touchscreen if you had to. Mm-hmm. Or with the back touchpad. There we go. That horribly, horribly uh, thought-out yeah. design. Dumbest thing ever. I don't actually own a Vita. I have a PS TV, so. Better than nothing. Yeah, I have two of them actually, because they're <laughs> so cheap. Yeah, that part's nice. Am I trying to kill those things? Attack backwards while moving I... forward. Using... Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. I can do that. Don't know. Yeah, you can hold a button to lock your angle in place, which. Kind of like uh, Contra 3 on the Super Nintendo. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I own a Vita without the uh, touchscreen or controls. <laughs> and half the game library. I love my Vita. I get quite a lot of use out of it. I hate handhelds. <clears throat> that's too bad. Never had a real Vita. I had two PSPs. I have a DS, a 2DS. I have a 3DS XL. I just don't like Did them you that say much. There was a shield button. Oh yeah, that's right. You use R1 to do the shield. I just forgot. Oh, crap. Right, can I hurry up and do this here. Oh crap, I can't jump high enough. Oh, I'm going to miss those targets. Uh-oh. Shoot, that's going to keep me from fully completing the tutorial. Oh, well, there's always next time. Uh-oh. This is pretty hard. 
This yeah, looks pretty tough, yeah. Jeez. Continue, no. Yeah. Zero gravity controls. Yeah, I guess we better at least look at the third tutorial, see what's going on here. <laughs> Welcome to the simulator. I got a 2DS to play the uh, Legend of Zelda game on it. The uh, Link Between Worlds, which is see, fantastic. Yeah, portable. <clears throat> If it was on anything else, I'd have bought it there. But you know, um, I find that a lot of people who, you know, like sometimes people have a bad experience with portables, but they're not actually using it as a portable. Like, I think one of the reasons why I enjoy the Vita so much, it's not just because it's a tiny screen in your hands, it's because I can actually play that you know, when I'm waiting in the car, or uh, at work, or just different places, you know, like, that if you if you don't take advantage of it like that, and you're just playing it at home exclusively, then you're not getting the portable benefits. I think some people, including my bro Icky, don't really get that. Like, Icky has a Vita, but as far as I know, he does not use it in a portable manner, and, you know, you're just losing some of the potential that way. I, I tried to do that with my PSP, and I just don't like taking it places. I'd rather just use my phone if I want to play a, a simple game to pass the time. But then you got to deal with touch controls. Yeah. I don't want to play anything complicated. Complicated. I just want to play, you know, some light games to waste 15 or 20 minutes. Mission clear. All right, well, I completed that one. That's good. That's no good at all. Oh, I took too long. 40 seconds is a long way away. Uh-oh. Well, we'll do that later. By the way, this game is only 20 bucks, so it's a nice nice price. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. My score rank is now level 3. Line bonus level 1 has been unlocked in the customize menu. So let's go to the customize menu and see what that does. Yeah, so they added this nice thing where you, the more you play, the more stuff you unlock. How do I get to customize? Is it under config? Nope. <laughs> I like Icky's, Icky's reasoning. If you get robbed, you lose a Vita, a phone, and a wallet. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't live somewhere where I have to worry about getting robbed. Well, yeah, I. as long as you don't stray into the bad neighborhoods, you generally don't have to worry about getting robbed down here. I don't. Yeah, some people just live in a bad neighborhood, like in uh, Houston or other big <laughs> cities, and that would stink. Yeah, that would be so bad. you got a bunch of text story stuff. I think it's mostly fluff. It's unlikely that most of us will care about it, but, you know, if you like the the behind like knowing why everything's happening then it is there for you <laughs> my tech guy we've been playing for a little while now it's assault suit lanos i keep saying it wrong assault suit <laughs> lanos i don't know why i don't want to enunciate it i think deb just uh <laughs> said you're broken have no not a good phone hey i mean Jeez. it's wow. still better than some people's phones raid on ganymede so is, is which planet is Ganymede a moon of, bro? Is it Jupiter or Saturn? Uh, Ganymede? I believe that's uh, Saturn. Right on. I think. So, in my experience, this game is really, really hard. But I did. I hadn't even done the tutorials when I tried to play it before. We'll see. I'm a bad nerd. It's the moon of Jupiter. Oh. Thank you, Surge. Yeah. That guy just one shot at me. That's obnoxious. Wow. Game over. Continue. Yes. All right. We'll give it a shot. It's one of the four Galilea moons. Thank you, Power Surge. Does it actually... Oh, good. It's... At least there was a checkpoint. There may not be lives, but checkpoints. That's important. I spend a lot of my time in Jupiter. What are you talking about? Jupiter's a town down here. Oh, that's Florida. It's all weird. Jones. Which gun am I trying to use? Not this one. Nope. Do I not have any... Oh, it's because I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh, crap. It looks like the objective is to kill the boss. Icky. Yeah, I'm defending this space station or whatever. Like I said, there, it did explain what was going on and stuff. I just didn't bother to read it. So why would you? Oh, what's happening? Warning! Uh, oh, this is all fancy looking. Ah, there's a big ship. Oh my. Run away! Yeah, not good. 
Ah, it's got a lot of life. And there's so many enemies running around. Jeez. If you can't just run by them, they run yeah. after you. <laughs> They're really eager to kill me. So far, so good. I've got more than halfway down. And, uh, you know, Adam, I thought this kind of game would be your jam, man. Like, I thought you might have even played the original. Oh, great. More enemies behind us. Wait, are those defensive? Guns? Yeah, this looks... This looks ridiculously hard. So, yeah, I think Adam would be all over it. Adam likes things that get hard. At least that's what I heard. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. Ooh. Hey, you know, we don't judge. Beat that guy. He owns the original, he says. Oh, there you go. Take that flying ship thing and super tough introductory level. Mission clear. Word. <laughs> I, I said that's what I heard, that guy. So, like, bread. Yes, exactly. He's a big fan of bread. Hey, I got rank A. That could have mm. been worse. I wonder if you can replay the level and it'll be easier because you found new things. Because it, it looks like I got a couple of things, new items or something. Escort the base workers to safety at the shuttle dock. Uh-oh. Well... I'll start riding the uh, eulogy. Escort missions, dude. <laughs> yeah, by the way, there's like a real intro and the game just skipped it because the way PlayStation 4 works, it resumed at the title screen instead of like the very startup screen where it would have shown the intro. Oh, uh, you have to yeah, close ahead, it manually. Well, Xbox does that sometimes, too. I'm more in the habit of always closing games when I finish them on Xbox. Because hmm. some games hmm. have difficulty with resuming, like Neverwinter, which I play a fair deal of, you know. It doesn't like to hmm. resume properly sometimes. Gotcha. <clears throat> so the mech we're in is called an AS, and it's the only one left. Keep combat to a minimum. How am I gonna do that? I like the animated portraits. They're not especially fancy, but they do make you feel kind of like you're playing in an 80s or an early 90s anime. That's a good feeling. Cool. That was my favorite era of animation. Still like anime that is produced today, some of it, but uh, I liked quite a bit more of it back then. Start. Oh yeah, and uh, so what is this armor thing? What is it? See, it doesn't tell you anything about the things you're equipping, so that, that part's a little bit of a drag. But I'm equipping it anyway. We will start. Escape, shuttle. Escape, stage two. This has been released in North America by Rising Star Games. They started out as a European publisher. They publish a lot of cool Japanese games over there. But is that a bad guy or a good guy? I guess they are bad guys. They're just not dying. Hmm. I really need to change the controls. What the? Oh, I don't know what to do with this. Am I supposed to kill the ship up there? I bet I am. Nope, it's invulnerable. That's a bummer. Ah! One of those big tanks. No time's been having some difficulty, it sounds like. Does your life refill over time? It just might. Mm -hmm. Ow. I want to try hitting an enemy with a punch. I haven't really done that yet. Uh-oh. A super maku punchy! You can kind of aim your fist up and down too, which is nice. Cool. Come on, miners. Uh-oh, there's another mech that I have to fight. That's exciting. Get wow. 
He is way more powerful than me. That's not fair. That's video <laughs> games for you. I think you mean way more skilled. Uh, he is going down, though. I think I got him. Yeah, got him. Oh no, they shot down our fighter. Huh. Oh no. Fine, I'm going. What's going on back here? Ah, a ton of guys behind them. Hey, Jacket Talks. Yeah, it really it feels like a nice classic game, and uh, although they've modernized the visuals and stuff, they haven't done so much with it that it loses that old school feel at all. Indeed. You have multiple difficulty levels. I've got it on the easiest setting, and it's still pretty challenging, but it is, you know... That's what you would want to do if you're not used to this particular game, because it is a famously hard game. The original. Yeah, this looks like it could be uh, pretty difficult. Touch. All right, what are we doing? Surge so is getting Battlefield 1. I really hope they end up letting me review Infinite Warfare, because I... I only played Infinite Warfare's multiplayer in its co-op mode, but I liked them a lot. I'll never be any good at the competitive multiplayer, but I, you know, I want to do more of that co-op and especially check out the story mode. Yeah, definitely. So uh, remember everybody, we, I was at Call of Duty XP last week, I wrote a total of four stories. The fourth one is going up tomorrow at Windows Central, that's our Modern Warfare Remastered preview. Very, very detailed preview. I, Man, I worked on that all week. Because uh, the way I had to do it, I like they did a Modern Warfare Remastered presentation, it was over an hour long, a panel basically, and we were not allowed to video it or take pictures, but we were allowed to record the audio, so I had to, like, listen to these audio, you know, listen to the audio recording and try to build a story and remember what the visuals were like as I'm writing the story. Just a very complicated hmm. process, trust me. But uh, I think I think I captured really what that panel was like and just basically all the enhancements they've done to the game, I think I talk about them pretty well. Because it is one of the better remasters that, that I'm familiar with, you know, like they put whole lot of work into the visuals and sound and things. It's not like your typical Activision re release where it's just the original game with little or no improvements. Yeah. Oh, dang it. You got me. And uh, the way you get Modern Warfare Remastered, in case you weren't aware, is that it is only available buying the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare. So... That's a little bit of a drag. Infinite Warfare is a $60 game. You want the Legacy Edition, you have to... It's 80 So basically $20 more to get Modern Warfare Remastered. Which is a good deal for what Modern Warfare Remastered actually is. But if you didn't want Infinite Warfare, then it would be a drag. But, uh... That's yeah, just Yeah, I mean, silly. if you like the series, though, you should be excited for <laughs> Modern... I'm sorry, for Infinite Warfare. Like, uh, it's... There's been a little backlash. That's the s yeah. space one? Yeah, there's been a little backlash because it's... Oh, yeah, it that looks good. Space, but no, I mean, the space setting allows for a lot more interesting environments and enemies and stuff. I mean, just... It's nothing but good that, that, that it has the space setting. You know, like, the people who are just, like, hardcore upset about it being sci-fi, just, they should get over it. It still feels like a quality it game. It looked good. When I um, originally saw the, the video, it did not look like a Call of Duty game at all. It looked like something much, much different, which is good that they're branching out. It looks uh, it looks quite interesting. I am uh, curious about it. Am I just supposed to run? Nope, I have to beat him. Oh, now, now let me scroll. Come on. Let me kill the guy. Yes. Then I can take off. Ha! Ah, blew you up, fool. Mission clear. Yeah, we beat a second mission. I think we have time Sweet. to attempt one more and then we've got to be off. Unfortunately, I've got a hard stop tonight, as always. 
Ah, that's a bummer. Oh, I got an E rank. Boy, I did poorly. <laughs> Ooh. Dang. Yeah, as far as the end of the contest goes, we're giving away the uh, Nightmares from the Deep, not Assault Suit Lanos. Although it would be cool to do a proper giveaway of this someday if things ever work out that way. But True. it doesn't have an Xbox version, and usually we don't choose to give out games that don't have Xbox versions. We'll see. Jack of Talks played the original version. <laughs> I want to say maybe I've done the multiplayer for the original Call of Duty game, but it's been it's been a long time. You used to play FPS multiplayer games? I mean, multiplayer modes? Uh, I used to do LAN parties and stuff. But it is it has been many years. <laughs> I don't regret not doing them anymore. I hate having to haul around my giant computer. Remake of the classic <clears throat> Sega Genesis game. Yeah, uh, that's why yes. gaming laptops for LAN stuff are just the best invention ever. Yeah, but they're also really expensive. Compared to desktops, they are. Yeah, ah. and when you're a broke college student, you go the cheapest route you can. Uh, so this is our first flying stage. And I'm wishing that it was a twin-stick shooter at this point, because that would make the aiming a lot easier. Oh man, that Call of Duty game comes out while I'm still on vacation. Voice. Yes, I'll still be in Europe. Yeah, don't forget guys, please, please leave comments on those Call of Duty articles. All you have to do is hit exclamation mark articles and you can get direct links. Or at the below the window on our, our channel here, you can always just find a link to all of my personal articles. And, you know, you'll, except for the VR Heads article, it doesn't link to those. But, yeah, please do. We need the, we need your support. Indeed. Caution, it says. Okay, what are we being cautious for? More regular enemies. I like the parallax scrolling in the background. And uh, and just, we've talked about this before, but in general we could really use everyone's help with growing the stream, with exposing the stream to new people. So if you, you know, uh -huh. all of your, please recommend our weekend stream to your Twitch friends. Get them to follow us. Then if they're not busy on Saturdays, maybe remind them, hey, come watch the stream with us. You might win a game, dude. Game over. I don't even know what it, I need to read the instructions again. Because I don't even know what the objective was that I failed at. I didn't run out of life. Thank you, Famicorps. That is brilliant. You know, a lot of streamers, they survive by asking for money from the viewers or, you know, viewers donate to them. PayPal, Patreon, whatever. Here's the intro. Mm -hmm. Let's let the intro play if it if it's going to play. Uh, but we don't do that. Like, all we ask is that you read our articles and leave nice comments. If you do that, you're supporting us. You know, you're helping us do what we want to do because we want to maintain good relationships with publishers, get copies of games to stream like this get review copies of games. So it really helps for us to have an active, obviously interested audience that the publishers can see right there on the articles. Yep. Can't stress it enough. Intro playing out a little more. Jupiter, it says. It's kind of, you know, I mean, there's a lot of little things happening in this intro, and it's very old school, but it, like, uh, I feel like it has no sense of pace. Maybe on the original Sega Genesis, that wasn't an issue, but it, on this, I feel like it's kind of a little bit slow and clunky. Just the intro, not the game itself. <laughs> oh, Power Surge got you there, Brian. Definitely Jupiter. Yeah, 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 yeah. No brown meister, it did not. It did not. It should still be up. And uh, yeah, now here you get a ton of text about what the situation is in the game, you know, the universe. You're in the year 2096, or at least it's happening after 2096. There's been a war, bad things have happened. The exploration teams, the people who are sent out to planets like Jupiter, 
they've lost communication with the homeworld because the homeworld is too busy with its own war and now the war is actually sh reaching these places I think if anyone knows differently then speak up continue all right real quick let's try to go to that return to the shuttle before re-entry I thought it was supposed to fight the bad guys Good to see you, Ken Civit. Thank you for joining us. Yep, thank you. Be careful out there. Cybernator. Jackatox recommends Cybernator. Yeah, we talked about that game a little bit earlier. I never played Gunhound DX. But I would give it a shot. Besides our Modern Warfare Remastered hands-on impressions, somebody always, like, whenever I do detailed impressions, somebody always says, great review. In fact, it's often no time for games. And uh, it always makes me think, this is not a review. Like, it feels weird when you write something that's not a review for people to call it a review. So don't do that. Yeah. Reviews are yeah. reviews. Previews are yeah, totally review. different. Preview means you didn't play the game. Yeah. Well, I mean, Usually. like, we, hands-on previews, but, but like, it's not the final well, yeah, version of the those. game. You know, like, a review you are giving... Like, when I write a preview, I'm usually trying to maintain an optimistic tone. And I, I'll mention things that I don't like about it, if there are such things. But, like, uh, with a review, that's where you really have to talk about quality and not just... Just kind of, like, uh, what the developers have been pitching to you. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's actually quite a lot different. I guess I'm clearing the enemies away for the shuttle in front of us. I mean, shuttle behind us, and then I have to get back into the shuttle. Whoa. Oh, I got too low, and it said to pull up. Thank you, Power Surge. Mm -hmm. That is very good of you, man. I'm glad to have you become a part of our audience. That's very cool. Yeah, I mean, like, if we could all get our friends to become members of the stream and start hanging out with us on Saturdays, then the stream could really grow and uh, kind of attain obtain that momentum that it, it needs to survive on its own because being that we're a variety stream twitch is just not set up for us to prosper and uh, you know sometimes i get really frustrated about that yeah if you don't uh do speed runs and play the exact same game every single day you're not going to do too much on twitch yeah. you're not you're not going to get big because a lot of the really big streamers they play like two games and they play them all the time yeah and, and the other thing is that I wish I could do <laughs> midweek streams, but lately I just haven't been able to because I'm too busy with work. And uh, I'm pretty mm -hmm. much the only Windows Central guy. <sighs> uh, they destroyed our ship. See, I'm, I'm really having uh -huh. a hard time reading the map and understanding where the ship is. Like, I thought I was in the hemisphere of it, but apparently not. Yeah, anyway, uh, you know, we, we can't stream every day, so Saturday is our only real opportunity to pick up viewers by them happening across us. But if you guys can spread the word and get more people to follow us and come on Saturdays, then still, that would help us. Yeah, like, uh, we, we need to be growing. Because, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, it's a lot of work requesting the free games and, and getting, I mean, requesting the games from the publishers, working with them and getting them for you guys so we can give them out to you. And, I mean, regular viewers, they've gotten a lot of free games from us in the time that we've been doing this. And so I think that's just a cool aspect of our stream. Hopefully everybody enjoys that. Yeah, Power Surge, I, I mean, like, but how did they get there, you know? Like, uh, the system is not set up for them to prosper. Either maybe they got there earlier, or maybe they just stream quite a lot, or maybe they do a whole lot of socializing in, uh, you know, more of a networking thing than we're able to do. Who knows? Or they just flat out got yeah, lucky. You, you just never know. But, you know, if anybody has suggestions for how to improve the stream, things that we can do that don't involve just streaming more often, then we are definitely open to them. And hopefully someday we'll be able to stream more often as well, just not right now. So, Assault Suit, Assault Suit Lenos, developed by a Japanese developer called Masaya originally. They made a, I don't know, they made a lot of obscure little Japanese games that I really like. Published by Rising Star Games, available on Steam and PlayStation 4. 
That's how I am too, Power Surge. But I think the way that people find streams randomly is that they, you know, they're looking up a game and they happen across it, or Twitch simply promotes it on the front page, or you know, places like that. Yeah, that's that's rare and that's that's hard to get. Um, yeah. Anyway, this game is twenty dollars. It's a great remake of a classic game. You don't you don't see a lot of games that look and play like this anymore. I mean, there. There are running gun shooters, but this one, you know, it doesn't feel like Contra. It feels like its own thing. It is very distinctive. It's got the nice sci-fi mech designs and ship designs and such. Kind of a, you know, a hard sci-fi story. And I, I've just really enjoyed it. Thank you, Jackatox. Really appreciate that. And uh, anyway, yeah, we do have to wrap it up. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. We will see you next weekend. We don't know what next Saturday's game is going to be, but don't worry. We'll run an article at Windows Central, and we will be here at the same time as always, which is 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, every Saturday. Plus or minus half an hour. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Uh, <laughs> thanks for your help, as always, Brian. Thank you, Indeed. Andy, for running the contest. Thank all of you for joining us. It is great to see you again. We will catch you later. Oh, yeah. Uh, please Have a good also one. follow me on nope. Twitter if you can. Twitter.com slash Paul R. And uh, we'll see you next weekend. Don't hate. Appreciate. See ya. You know who's an SOB? Tyler. Oh, totally. I think he's streaming. All right, he was.